In this exercise, you open an existing assembly file and then review the mate flush, angle, tangent, and insert constraint types. Make ADA Mechanical Unit 7.IPJ the active project. Open INV Unit 7 01.IAM. On the component panel, click Place. In the Place Component dialog box, select INV Unit 7 Cylinder.IPT. Click Open. Click in the graphics window to place a cylinder. Right click in the graphics window, click OK. On the component panel, click place. In the open dialog box, select INV unit 7 sphere.ipt, click open. Click in the graphics window to place a sphere. Right click in the graphics window, click OK. On the position panel, click constrain. Review the Place Constraint dialog box. Under Type, the default is Mate. Select the top edge on one block. Select the top edge on the other block. Click Apply. Under Solution, click Flush. Select the front face on one block. Select the front face on the other block. Click OK. Select the front block. Try to drag the block. The grounded symbol is displayed. This indicates that this is the grounded component and cannot be moved. Select the back block. Try to drag the block. The part is free to move. The mate and flush constraints act like a hinge. Drag the block to the approximate angle. On the position panel, click Constrain. Under Type, click Angle. Select the Predict Offset and Orientation checkbox. Under Solution, click Undirected Angle. Select the top face of the angled block. Select the top face on the other block. The current value of the angle constraint is displayed. For angle, enter 45. Click OK. In the browser, expand INV Unit 6 Block 2. Right click Work Axis 1. Click Visibility. In the browser, expand INV Unit 7 Sphere 1. Expand the Origin folder. Right click Y axis. Click Visibility. On the Position panel, click Constrain. Clear the Predict Offset and Orientation checkbox. Select the Work axis on the block. In the browser, select Y axis on INV Unit 7 Sphere 1. Click OK. Drag the sphere outside of the block. On the position panel, click Constrain. Under Type, click Tangent. Under Solution, click Inside. Select the sphere. Select the chamfered face on the top block. Click OK. On the Position panel, click Constrain. On the Assembly tab, under Type, click Insert. Select the top edge of the hole. Select the top outside diameter edge of, on the cylinder. Under Solution, click Aligned. Click OK. Try to drag the cylinder up and down. It cannot move vertically.
On the View tab, Visibility Panel, click Degrees of Freedom. Review the assembly. The cylinder and sphere have one rotational degree of freedom displayed. On the application menu, click Save As, Save Copy As, use the class file naming convention. In this exercise, you opened an existing assembly file and then applied mate, flush, angle, tangent, and insert constraint types.